Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve for uh, solve this linear inequality for x. Now, you can see there's a couple different steps we want to do. And remember, when we're solving a linear inequality, we're going to treat it just like a linear equation. So we're going to use our inverse operations as well as our properties of equality, um, but now they're going to, you know, for a inequality. So the first thing we want to do, though, is simplify both sides and then get the x's to the same side. So to simplify the left side, I need to at least apply distributive property. There's really nothing I can do on the right side. So I have 9x plus 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times x is 2x is less than 5 plus 9x. Now I can combine the left side by combining my like terms. 9x plus 2x is 11x plus 4 is less than 5 plus 9x. Now all I simply need to do is get my variables to the same side. So I have 11x on the left side and 9x on the right side. And you get them to the same side. So you just need to decide, well, which side do you want to get them to? Well, I'll decide to get them to the left side, because usually we like kind of left side, like you read left to right. Um, so to do that, I'll just subtract a 9x so when I, on 9x on both sides. When I subtract a 9x on the right side, that goes to 0. And I'm left with 2x plus 4 is greater than 5. Now we have an inequality. That is a two-step inequality. We like two-step inequalities because at this point, this should be like your strong point of being able to solve a inequality at a two, um, from a two-point or two-step inequality. So to do that, I now use my inverse operations. I always undo addition and subtraction first. So I have 2x is less than 1. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. x, oh, what are my equals? x is greater than, or x is less than 1 half. So again, now I create a a number line, and we're at 1 half, so let's start at 0. Let's do 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So again, when I'm graphing these, you can see x is less than. It's not less than or equal to. So just since it's less than, I could probably assume that a, it's going to be an open dot. But why do we have an open dot? So to, to, to show you that, if that's 1, we know 1 half is like right there. What I do is I put a, a nice big circle. And we need to I, identify, am I going to have all the solutions are going to be to the right or to the left? Are they going to be greater than 1 half or less than 1 half? x is less than 1 half. I could probably reason it's going to go to the left. But let's double check. Let's check some values. So what you're going to do is take each one of the values that you're plotting and test them. So this is at 1 half, right? That is your solution. So plug 1 half in for x. Then test another point. Test a point to the left and test a point to the right. OK. Is 1 half less than 1 half? No, 1 half is equal to 1 half, right? So that is false. So since it's false, it's still your solution. But since it's false, it's just not going to be a part of your solution as far as in the graph. So therefore, it's going to be an open circle, meaning that value is actually not a part of your solution. Is negative 1 less than 1 half? Yes, negative values are less than positive. So that is true. Is 1 less than 1 half? No, that's false. So therefore, now, from our open circle, which is our solution, we're now going to shade to the left, which is going to represent all of the solutions that will make my inequality true. Thanks.